And now I'll um, thank you very much, Lear and Dodge. I'll move over here to Cat's Eye. And uh, let me stand this way so I can get a good shot and we'll see what Cat's Eye's built this time. And um, Cat's Eye has done this experience before, but this is a good opportunity to point out that it's always different. With symbolic modeling, you're in the moment of how you feel, and you may have a completely different take on, on the concept. So we're going to see what Cat's Eye has to say today. I'll zoom in on your object, Cat's, and then um, I'm going to ask you if you would like to be yourself and, and uh, speak with your own voice about this object, or would you rather become the object and speak from the object's perspective? Go ahead and use voice. voice working yes i can hear Should it I, okay i can turn it oh wait i gotta make sure there okay um i'd rather talk in some, from as it instead of as me all right uh, as, as i was building um you know it was kind of a surprise so I'll, i think i will walk inside i really have no clue about all of it <laughs> um I have a clue about some of it, I guess. Um, I'm the, I'm going to be the green first because that's me, uh, or the the me that holds things and contains container me. <laughs> Hi, um, I'm the green uh, container of all the things that come in, and uh, I give things out as well. I'm tilted, so apparently I'm spilling some out. Um, I feel like it's coming in very fast, almost drilling into me. Um, there seems to be a lot of colors coming in, spinning, and they are all different uh, ideas, all different um, worldviews, I guess. Um, all coming in, um, I guess, and I have this little screen that that's catching it, or I'm doing it. I don't know. It's I do crochet in real life, and it's sort of a crochet lace. So um, I think it has to do with how I'm dealing with all this stuff coming in. <laughs> It's protecting, it's letting some things through, um, it's a calm and still part of it all. Like I am, I'm, I, the green bowl, I'm still, but I'm tilted. Um, so I'm at least in some way affected by all this coming in. Um, it's coming in too fast. <laughs> and I have a hole, apparently, I have holes and stuff and so some is spilling out um well cats uh, you i heard some words that i'd like you to maybe even kind of contemplate and talk about you mentioned a lot of movement spilling out drilling into me coming in too fast um those were a, a spinning a lot of movement words um i wonder if you would like to uh, I wonder if you could tell us a bit about this movement. Well, it's all all knowledge, all information is is constantly moving. It's constantly changing. Um, one tries to think that some things are forever and stable, <laughs> but lately I don't feel that as much. I feel that a lot of things I thought were stable and are not they're moving um there and some of them are spinning and it's definitely feeling too fast now that may be a function of my age <laughs> it might be excite more of a feeling of excitement 10 20 years ago <laughs> definitely 30 40 years ago <laughs> and 50 but now it just feels a little too fast it feels like it's coming in faster than i can sieve Sieve it through my lace. <laughs> and you've got that, that white frame. You mentioned a bit uh, of sort yes. of the, the idea of a, a crochet and a lace. Could you perhaps become the frame 
and speak to us as though you are that frame. I think that was somewhat of an accident in the build, but I'm, um, yeah, there's no accidents. So I think I'm stable. I am a part of me that's stable and tries to frame all the incoming stuff in and information and knowledge and awarenesses. I'm, I attempt to, um, give it a structure, um, put it into some kind of hole as it comes in. Um, it's like a, the top of a, of a funnel, I guess. So I guess I'm, I'm trying to make it come in and in, in one way, instead of from all directions, maybe. <laughs> could, the, could you um, speak um, as I trying to frame it? I'm trying to frame this stuff coming in. I'm, I'm, I'm letting it in, but within me from, it can't go around me to get in. Um, I'm a part of, um, me that is, I'm, I'm the one that, that, uh, sets the framework, sets the, the limits, if you will, or the, uh, the, uh, structure of how the rest how the bowl receives all this incoming stuff it's not all flowing from all directions although in, it is coming from all directions it's it's coming through this funnel because i have a framework of some sort i am a framework of some sort could you could you and i'm yellow under Part, the top part here is yellow. Can I speak as the yellow? Oh, please do. That sounds great. Yellow to me has always been. Um, can you start it with? Knowledge. Can you start it with? I am yellow. I am, yeah, there you go. <laughs> I am <laughs> yellow. I I am the cumulative knowledge um, that sets the framework that is the first stop of all the inflowing, the red that's coming in, the blue. Um, the red is, is passion, is emotion, I believe, and the blue is wisdom to me. Um, it comes in behind the red. <laughs> and I let it, I, I go in first. I go in first and I'm the blue comes in with me. It's blue runs all through. It's next to me. It's around me. It's near me. And it doesn't seem to be flowing out. Um, I don't know if that's because it, oh, well, I guess I'll ask blue when I get a chance. <laughs> you want to ask blue now? You can say blue. <laughs> Blue, why aren't you flowing out? <laughs> You're my wisdom. Why are, where, where are you going? Um, maybe I'm waiting in the blue, should blue answer? Sure. May I feel like I'm waiting down in the green bowl. I'm flowing back upwards um, into your knowledge. So perhaps when my wisdom infuses your knowledge, we'll be green and then we'll flow out from the bowl through this crocheting. I, yeah, that's interesting that it's going under the crochet through the, I'm going through the crochet into the bottom of the bowl. So anything else that you'd like to say about this process and how, how, um, how you feel about uh, constructing this uh, into a, is a build, a symbolic modeling build? It surprised me. Um, I would have thought I have, would have um, different, um, a different reaction to the idea of meta-literacy. Um, but this is, I guess, how I'm feeling now. And I think that's what Simmod is so good at. Um, getting at the stuff you're not that necessarily aware of inside yourself. 
the surprises. So I think it's something, I think people not only should leave their simads here, but they should take one home and keep looking in it, you know, because when you're first talking about it, it's off the top of your head, but it seems like there's more going on. And Sumat is, is because it just flows out of you in a sort of quick, sudden, improv, improvisational way, there's stuff in there you don't know about yet. <laughs> and when you go through the process of t speaking as it, some of it comes out, but I think it takes revisiting maybe too. Absolutely. Um, it so takes revisiting and you very well put that this is an ongoing process. It's a personal journey. Yeah. You don't just become completely metal literate. You know, th and, and our culture keeps changing. There's always new apps. You know, there's more. It's a never ending journey. And it's something that we do have to think about in order to in order to deal with it. So thank you for, for sharing this today for all three of our builders.